kwa tamaris bibi wa mburu watoto mom the brothers the rest of the relatives the friends um, the colleagues at the county assembly led by the speaker na wananchi wote wa Lakeview ward bwana asifiwe it's a difficult time and to the church thank you very much because we couldn't do anything really in this world without you and even at this difficult time you do fill the gap so we thank you very much so as we come here today for most of us it's really difficult because kabisa hakuna vile we would have thought that we would be here at this point in time this early laying our brother to rest karanjamburu but here we are and i guess so is life na sisi wote that's the direction but i personally feel very sad because karanja was not just an mca to me i wasn't just his senator but he was a close family friend for us karanja is someone that we talked often even in the last week before the sunday as you, they went through the supplementary budget we often consulted and discussed and talked and i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt he was a leader who was going very 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 far he was extremely progressive in thought he was also very 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 courageous and i don't say that to take anything away from the rest of you members of the county assembly but i think if you asked me i would say he was number one in courage now not just at the county assembly level but even at the county level and even one of the top national leaders as well so it shocked me that the day on sunday when the tragedy happened in my we have a whatsapp group for senators now the first person to lay tribute in that page was senator sakaja and he told me how much uh, um, karanja had been helping people at the flower farms the next one was senator wetangula i mean i was really shocked i knew he had he had he had made his way into the national politics but i did, really didn't know how far he had gone then there was senator faki from mombasa talking to me about him and senator murkomen so it went on and on and on and i'm sure also many of you know he was a close 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 friend of the deputy president so for me when i look at him and that's why i said not to take anything away when i say he is elected at the ward level but yet he's known at the national platform at the national level and in just two and a half years it wasn't even his second term so sometimes we feel sad because we can see how far he was going to go but god decides and god's plans are god's plans ah uh, mheshimiwa kk naona kiti yangu mlichukua kabla hata niwache kukalia yes senator but we also used to have those discussions a lot because he was such a young guy and we would talk about how the youth are the highest in population in our country yet everywhere we go the youth feel so left behind but somehow karanja was able to carry the voice of the youth with a lot of bravery and i'll tell you how i met him the first day i met karanja i was a speaker like you are a speaker but i was running for senate at the time and it was close to nominations and i was going around the wards and i would meet the pillars in each ward to try and talk them into seeing my vision and one of karanja's opponents who at the time was a close friend of mine had brought together a group in lake the ward for me to come and talk to actually it was ladies i think we had a group of 100 ladies from actually no not just ladies ladies and gentlemen so we talked we the the the, the people talked i talked uh, karanja's opponent at the time talked and then it was time to go and there was this one guy at the back and i was like we need to let him speak and his opponent at the time said 
hata yeye anataka kiti but he can't go anywhere let him talk wacha tu aongee hata kama ni function ya his opponent he really can't go too far so that's how he talked but i remember being shocked like i can't imagine walking into an opponent's function without my own people sitting there and then being able to stand and talk and carry the day so that is when i first noticed him and i thought this guy has something special the next time i was shocked at karanja's passion and courage was when we were burying a young uh, we used to call them one of the bloggers in akuru county his name is kelwesh back in solai and that was the first time that karanja spoke i mean this is an mca from lake viewod but he was addressing a serious gathering in solai rongai sub county and he really really talked and i said wow you know it just felt different it just felt different it didn't feel like anything we had seen before and so from there we became good friends we walked the journey together and here we are unfortunately now it's not in vain because as we can see in those two and a half years he shone so brightly when the issues of covid-19 came i was following closely as i often do as a senator from a distance but i follow the members of the county assembly his fellow colleagues elected him as we had from our speaker here as the chairman of that ad hoc committee and every time karanja would speak and i remember his i think it was a radio something i had a clip just going around karanja was saying that as much as they had passed hundreds of millions in terms of money for those who are vulnerable and would be facing a hard time due to covid-19 karanja said even if if the, the county was to supply food nobody the, the food must be bought from the farmers of nakuru county it must not come from outside that is the kind of passion that is the kind of dedication that he had for wanjiko so as we continue speaker and your team majority leader you are there our good friends there the other mcas please make sure that you carry through this vision of karanja make sure that because the money you have done well by the way and i congratulate you you have passed the supplementary budget make sure that when that money gets on the ground like he said make sure it goes down to anjiko who will be needing that money let us make sure that those who are meant to be helped by that money the money gets to them so we shall continue with uh we, and and i will also make sure as a close friend of karanja that whatever it is he was trying to do we shall be sure to try and make it become a reality even if he's gone last night i spoke extensively to the deputy president as because he knew we were coming for this funeral today and i told him about a time when i had come karanja had called me for an agm meeting and i think that the, the principal is here of kilimani milimani oh you're there and i remember i came and you didn't know that i was coming you can sit you didn't know that i was coming but karanja had called me and he had insisted you must come you must come you must come you can't miss and at the time i had other functions but he he had his way with me and i cancelled and i came and i remember at the time karanja kept talking to me about we need a bus in this school but at the time i had just come from fundraising for a bus in akuru town and i know how hectic that gets so to be very honest principal i refused to commit <laughs> so at the time i didn't commit but then again the deputy president came to the catholic church that's next to your school and even as we were telling him farewell at the at, at, i had come with him as we were saying goodbye now to karanja and leaving for another destination he told the deputy president please help this school get a bus so anyway last night i talked to the deputy president and he said in memory of karanja we shall make sure that your school gets a bus so that it was not in vain thank you and also speaker you have mentioned and those uniforms are in my office can you imagine together with speaker and karanja i don't know what you did to him principal this school was too close to his heart we have no uniforms because he came to speaker and then speaker called me and he said we need to get some uniforms for the students at mlimani primary so me and him had been talking trying to figure when we can get together and come and deliver so as soon as we are able to do this as soon as this covid is over speaker we shall go and deliver those uniforms on his behalf to your school as well so as we continue we shall stand in the gap and try to help in every day way that we can even when i came to your school he was able i launched uh, a borehole that he had done 
because your school had had so many water issues. And in fact, by calling me to come and launch it, the truth of the matter is he got in trouble that day. I think he got a reporter and he had wanted to be with us. And C.S. Waziri Keter of Energy, whom he had met a few weeks before he passed on, had also sent uh, messages of condolences. So before I sit, um, I do have... Uh, I do have a message here, and I don't want to wake up Damaris, so in her place, I can have, just stand with me here, I can have uh, Mbae, Naedi, uh, what this is, uh, like I said, and <laughs> Mboro here was also a very, very close uh, friend of MCM Mboro. And what uh, the deputy president said, we were tr as we were trying to figure what the best thing to do would be, because we don't want to just come and then leave. We want to make sure that we build a home for the wife and children of Karanjamboro. <laughs> so what I'll do here is this is from the deputy president, and it's a million shillings. <laughs> so on behalf of the wife, you'll do it as a committee, and us here as a family, and close, close, close friends of Karanjamboro, we shall add 500,000. So that hopefully that will help, and we will do it together as a committee, and then we shall move forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. May he stand in the gap. It is well. Ma'am, so sorry, so, so sorry uh, for the loss. Damaris, we shall continue praying for you and for the children. And we shall not leave you alone. We shall keep checking on you. And to our Mboro Karanja, go well, go well, go well. Thank you.